Are you tired of consistently dying in Doom Eternal? Do you want that to change? Do you find yourself running out of ammo at the worst possible moments? If you do, take everything you know about Doom 2016 and throw it out the window. Well, not everything. You still have all the chainsawing, bone breaking, head smashing, head ripping, and now all the face stabbing you can handle. Oh yeah. I knew you'd like that Doom guy, so let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday Morning Games. My name is Brian and I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks for Doom Eternal. So let's get started off with weapon mods. Each gun has two weapon mods, like Doom 2016. But now these mods help take down demons much faster, like using a chain gun on a Hell Knight. Or the auto shotgun on the Rakutron. They also aid in disabling specific parts of the demons or putting them into a staggered state. Think of your weapons more like tools this time. To be the most effective, you need to use the right tool for the right job. Also, quick tip, you can switch weapon mods through the weapon wheel by pressing up on the D-pad. For example, the precision bolt on the heavy cannon can be used to destroy the guns on the Arachnotron, the Mancubus, and the Revenant. I know the micro rockets might sound more appealing, and if you aren't the best at quick scoping in games, like myself, it will push you more to that mod. But trust me, get the precision bolt first. Doom Eternal has made me way better at quick scoping. Well, thanks to its heavy aim assist. All you have to do is get your crosshair close to the enemy's head or gun that you want to shoot, and do a quick zoom and shoot, and that'll take care of it. Next weapon I want to talk about is the plasma rifle good crowd control gun with the smaller demons if you have heat blast equipped. Also, if you see the demons with the energy shields or carcass, pull it out and it'll make quick work of those guys. Don't forget to use it against them because those guys are a pain if you don't take them out early. Last, I recommend getting the remote detonator mod first with the rocket launcher. I know lock-on sounds nice, shoot and forget, but you could combo the remote detonator a lot better. Also, if you're having a hard time getting around a pinky, you just shoot and detonate the rocket when it's behind it. Suit upgrades. The first upgrade I recommend is in your exploration tab. It's called Slayer Atlas, which reveals the location of the auto map station. And second is Item Finder, which shows all progression items on the map. So your map would look something like this. These upgrades will help you get items you need faster to upgrade your suit and your ship. Runes are back, and this time you don't have to do a challenge to get them. The runes I find most useful are Seek and Destroy, Perform a Glory Kill from much further away. This is very helpful in close call situations, especially because I've noticed sometimes I'm able to Glory Kill when the enemy isn't even highlighted orange. Second is Equipment Fiend. Enemies killed by equipment or under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. I use my Flame Belch as much as possible and that's why I have this attached. Last one I use is Blood Fuel. Gain a speed boost after performing a glory kill. This includes chainsaw kills too and you get a significant speed boost too. It helps you get out of situations that aren't good to be in and quickly run around and regroup yourself. Let's move on to ammo and health. Health, ammo, and armor can all be found on the ground, like in the last game. However, you are given less ammo in this game compared to the last one. The chainsaw is even more important this time around, so don't be afraid to use it because one of the fuel bars will recharge. Glory kills give you health, like the last game, and the new flame belch will provide you with armor. Here are two easy combos you can use with the flame belch. One, flame belch into chainsaw will give you armor and ammo. Flame belch into glory kill will give you health and armor. Just so you know, you do get less armor using the flame belch as a combo you will get a lot more armor if you just use it by itself. 
However, there is an upgrade for the Ice Bomb that will give you health every time you kill a Frozen Demon. So you could combo that with the Flame Belch and you won't lose any armor. I'm going to take you through a quick play-by-play. -play. Here we go. Take out the Arachnatron gun because he's going to just keep shooting from a distance. Chainsaw the guy, get some ammo back, then perform a glory kill, get some health back. When the Arachnatron rushes me, I like to switch to our shotgun and it takes him out very quick. After that, plasma rifle this shield and he pops it up again, cause an explosion. The plasma rifle is very effective against Carcass. Then we will launch a sticky bomb into a Cacodemon's mouth so we can perform a quick glory kill by ripping out its eyeball. After that we just make some quick work with the smaller demons by getting health and ammo back with them. Then this is a armored Mancubus coming up. So what you do is you blood punch them to the chest where the armor is and it'll take out all their armor. After this, I like to run around the area that I was just in, look for any secrets that'll help my progression, pick up any health and ammo if I need any, then move on from there. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Press the like button if you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.